This is Mr. Magic. Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Good morning, everyone. Right now in Red Ridge, it's 10, 18 a.m. on Thursday, November 26, 2020. We're hosting the Turkey Day event from now until midnight to celebrate the fall harvest. We've invited a world-class chef to cook for us in the plaza. I hope you can all join in the fun. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Do this. Something about seeing piles of colorful leaves everywhere puts me in the mood to bake. Oh, it's cakes, muffins, biscuits. I can't fight this. I won't. I need a bigger fridge. Okay, so this is interesting. My new villager isn't out and about. So, I, last night I got this new character called, um, Diana. I thought I got it. One, two, three. What is happening right now? She's su she was supposed to come. I guess she's not gonna be a part of this event. Okay, I don't know what's going on right now. I fully intend to learn everything I can from our lovely chef as there today, Hong Kong. Like, what are the trendiest ingredients right now? Who's the most famous client he's cooked for? You know, just basic cooking stuff. Let's see, who do we have out here? We have Pietro, we have Sandy, we have Al, Stinky, Bon Bon. And they're all in the plaza. I don't see, I don't see Rolf, and I don't see Pashmina, so, you know, are you one of the local, are you one of the locals here? I'm frequent professional chef extraordinaire. Nook Inc. hired me to come and cook for everyone. See, Turkey Day is about celebrating the harvest by pre preparing a feast with all those fresh ingredients. No one knows feasting like turkeys, which is why they call in a professional gobble gob. Well, I say that, but right now it's one, of, it's one of those, it's what those of us in my line of work would call a conceptual feast. Make no mistake, I brought with me everything I need to whip up positively gobblicious clam chowder. But today is about nature's bounty, not my personal excellence. I want to use local ingredients wherever, wherever possible. Just three vanilla clams would be all I need to adapt my award-winning clam chowder recipe. But I typically have people do my clam digging. Where am I going to find a digger on such short notice? I don't need sea bass. I got a sea bass right here. I think I need to go fish up another sea bass. Denim skirt again.
fancy party dress. What is what does this look like? I have two, I need one more. Bamboo candle holder. I'm gonna take this time to like go up to, to my um, pumpkin patch. Yeah, I gotta visit my pumpkin patch. I, I haven't visited the pumpkin patch in a long time. Let's see, there's an orange one. Do I have any whites? If I don't have any white pumpkins, I've got so many blue marlins and. and Arowanas in my inventory, it's not even funny. Uh, so I don't have two greens. I have one, I have two whites and a whole bunch of greens. I heard greens are like the rarest. Um, how, do I, how do I do this? Right. Thank <laughs> you. 
I can't. I, I'll have to come back for the mushrooms. these cola cans just lying around. Everyone must be solid and dead just in my cooking. I'd love to start on some clam chatter. And I would, if only a digger to fetch me three milk clams. I do it myself, but these are chef's hands. Without an assistant digger, I despise the despair of getting my ingredients. Speaking of these. What did you bring me my ingredients? Oh, well, you know, fresh manila plants from this very island. These are some beauties. I'll make the finest clam chowder you've ever had with these magnificent mollusks. Now then, I've got everything I need, so... Let's get cooking! Just clam chowder ready to serve. Folks tend to under underrate the soup, but they should think twice. Some nice fresh manila clams can really satisfy. I'd like to show my appreciation for your help. I present to you a turkey day rug. I'll say this for an amateur who had a real eye for the ingredients. For ingredients. Thanks for the menu. I'm trying to cook up a pumpkin pie. I'm going to hire a gopher to fetch the ingredients. They didn't show. So, how would you like to be my gopher? Perfect. Oh, look, I really appreciate this. My boy, chef is nothing more than your assistant. Let's make this a red letter turkey day. Let's talk, let's talk turkey about what we'll need to make that pumpkin pie. I'll need an orange pumpkin plus a green pumpkin. Once it's all stirred in, I'll make, it'll make for the best pumpkin pie this ion has ever seen. You don't have what you need, someone else might. There's no shame in asking me for help, it's how I recruited you after all. Oh, that sounds good, maybe good. I, I don't want to wait anymore. Good. Almost worth skipping like they did. It is a Dungeness Crab. I had a Dungeness Crab here the entire time. Right, let's get this crab over to where Franklin is. Oh, it's a yellow balloon. Hold up. These things either have DIYs in them, or they have 
bags of bells. And right about now. What is this? Bells? Acorn posh shit. Poche. I, I don't know what how to pronounce that. Okay. Sweet, I learned a DIY, uh, DIY recipe for an acorn, whatever that word is. Oh, it's a bag. Next stick should be a pumpkin pie. Absolutely stuffed with pumpkin. The main ingredients are simple. I want pumpkin and a green pumpkin. I'll get started putting it here. Once you get your hands on the ingredients, bring them back to me. So soon, let's create the green pumpkin too. Orange pumpkin and green pumpkin. Nice. The reliable assistance and high quality food to make a master chef's work that much smoother. Now then, I have everything I need, so let's get cooking. Spices makes for quintessential pumpkin pie. Two chefs could have thought it would the favor quite well. Quite so well that the raw ingredients were all you. This is very helpful in the night. Pumpkin to the chef to turkey and all. Now then, our next dish will make a hearty seafood broth. The king beans here are skinny mushrooms as well as a mussel. Come back once you found them. Uh. Hold up guys, I don't think... I don't think I have a muscle, but I can sure as heck get one. From my experience, the mussels aren't really... There's... I don't even need to go in the water because there's a mussel right there. A skinny mushroom and a muscle. We'll get started for once you get your hand on your hands. Got it, shit. Yeah, okay. I just need the mushroom.
skinny mushroom. There's a skinny mushroom up there. rare mushroom. I, I don't I think I need that. I'm just going to get rid of all these fossils. Chef's work that much move. Now that I've got everything I need, so. Let's get cooking! It's just a fresh seafood. It'll be the top of the town. You know, you're proving yourself quite the catch when it comes to assistance too. This is very helpful to know here to the to the chef. Some turkey day flying. Let's see, yes, it's time to talk about final dish. Only best for our main course. Final dish I find is none other than a grand fish menu. Menu A, I don't... What are these words? I understand it's Turkey Day, but you wouldn't believe the way they chose to celebrate it in some places. But what the less said there, better. I need a sea bass and a dab, I think. I feel that menu, if we drink both of them, is 
and arguably the proper dish for the occasion. This is the final part, stick with me, no feast like kings. You shouldn't have to worry about the sea bass, but the dab. Oh, the dab. That was a red snapper. And not what you needed right now. Let's, let's see if I have a dab. Hermit crab, hermit crab, hermit crab, wharf roach, wharf roach. I do have a barred knife job. I might, I might need that sucker. Is that a dab? I don't think, no, that's, I, that's definitely not a dab. A whole bunch of sea bass around here, but... From the looks of it, I don't see a single dab. Alright, that's okay, we can just show off... ...the people cooking in here. Going to other villagers and seeing it. Let's see if any of these other villagers have a dab. How are you doing, kiddo? Surprised to see me cooking. Yeah, me too. But it's turkey day, so I thought I'd try. I'm out of horse mackerel, which means I'm kind of stuck, girl. Hey, kiddo, if you get a horse hold, some horse mackerel, would you bring it by? I got some food in second trade. Horse mackerel. Of course, when I actually want a horse mackerel, it's going to be tricky. Heck, that's a horse mackerel. A crucian carp. It's a catfish. The barred knife jaw. 
two bird nachos. Here's a small shadow. Come on, baby. Horse macros are really coming. <laughs> 